Right, Linus, uh, we're looking at loci, the helix, and this is a single start square thread. Very importantly, you can underline. The manufacturing, manufacturing company designed a single start square threaded worm gear uh, with the following specifications, and the other specifications. It's right-handed, which we'll speak about now. Uh, one and a half turns, or one and a half revolutions, right? That's very important. Outside diameter is 100, core diameter is 60, pitch is 60. Um, so we're going to be looking at that as I will move my way through this drawing. Okay, very quickly, you have to complete the worm gear showing all the, the necessary constructions with a profile, and you're going to start here at AB. But before we even do that, we have to draw our construction here at the top. So outside the amateur, of 100 so you can take your ruler and you're going to say 50 is my radius because they work in diameters so 50 i'm going to take my seat square my my compass sorry and i am going to do that 50 perfectly there and then i'm going to put it on there and i'm going to swing half a circle like that there right half a circle like that there and then I've got a core diameter of 60, so I'm going to go with 30, like that there. And then I'm going to put this compass there, and I'm going to go another. So I've got two circles, or two semicircles. Immediately I am going to divide my circles into my parts. So it's already in two halves. So here we go. So we're going to do that, and we're going to do that, and then we're going to swing this around, and we're going to do that over there, and we're going to do this over there. All right. Very importantly, I'm going to mark my points. That's the marking on my outside circle, all those points, all right? And then, secondly, I'm going to I have my red markings of my points on my inside circle. That's very important. Now, because I'm going to start over here, right, that's going to be my starting line there, and I'm going to have that there, I'm going to bring firstly those points down, like that, and while I'm at it, I'm going to bring all my blue points down. So my blue points are going to come all down like that. Only my blue points at this stage, which I'm going to bring down. That's there already. Um, and I'm going to take that there. And that one there as well. Now, they say here that that's out of the way. That's out of the pitch is 60. Right? So pitch is 60, which is one turn, and they want uh, one and a half. So it's 60 plus half a turn, which is 30. And all together, that's going to give you 90. But you also know 60 has 12 spaces plus 6, which is half of 12 for the 30. And that's going to give you 18. And now to be able to determine the various portions of the the slots you're going to have, you're going to say 90 divided by 18, and that's going to give you 5 perfectly. Right? So 5 would be your spacings. So I'm going to say, right, um, I'm going to do my 5s here, right, and then I'm going to, because my highest point is here, right, I'm going to do 5s here, but I'm first going to do my, my 18 5s which will give me 19 there. So I'm going to take my ruler. All right, learners, watch carefully. I'm starting at the highest point A, and I'm going to have 5. And I'm going to measure up and complete. And once I've measured up, I'm going to draw lines across. Okay, let's do that quickly. Okay, here you can see that I've done my 5s, and I've measured 5 millimeters up to 90. Once you had hit the 90, you will know that there are 18 blocks here, which is the 18 that you need for one and a half turns, right? So it's 18 blocks in between there. 
but because we have a space here where it's going to start I need to divide this also and if you measure this here you will actually find um, that that actually amounts to, to 20 so you're going to have four fives in there right so you're going to do that as well five another five and another five there right the other fives so besides that you have 18 there you're going to have another one two three four to add it to the 18 at the bottom to fill up that that gap over there okay these two points are very important that point there for a and that point for b a has two points and b has two points as you will see so A will run on the outside and A will also run on the inside. B will run on the outside and B will run on the inside as well. Just to show you, I'm going to use uh, the blue for, for A. So here's my blue. Watch carefully. Um, let me start. I'm gonna let, let me start with the with the blue for for B. I'm gonna start at the bottom here. So very importantly, if if you look at the turn, it's a right-handed. Now right-handed from bottom up basically means anti-clockwise. So anti-clockwise is going to be um, something that goes like that, right? That way around, anti-clockwise. Okay, so it's very important. Bottom up, right-handed means anti-clockwise. This means that um, if you go this way around and you go up here, that that, that point is going to move this way first and going that way. And then you start here only on the on the on the outside points, as you can see here. I'm going to plot my points, and you'll see I'm moving. If I plot that, I'm going to draw a faint line, just like that there, faint, right, and it goes like that. So I'm going to plot my entire section like that there, and then I will just do my, my line to see whether I'm actually on the right track, like that, and then it goes like that. You'll see it becomes very easy once I have that there. And there I draw my faint line in. I'm going to carry on. Okay. Um, I just want to see whether I've gone the correct way, if I haven't made a mistake. So I will check again. And I will continue this line till there. Now, I've done the extra points, but you don't actually need that. You only need to stop it here because one, two, three, four spaces would be there, and then one, two, three, four spaces would be here. So you only stop your line till there. Okay? Now, <clears throat> you're going to take the blue for the top one. Let's take the blue for the top one, and you're going to go here, there, there. Okay, um, and you can check that it's going by one, two, three, four spaces away, and you're going to continue here, there, 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 and there. One, two, three, four spaces away again, and you're going to do that there. Okay, and you continue with that there, there. There, there, and there. And you bring that in with your line again, like that, faintly, of course. And you continue here, there, and it's going to finish over there. Okay, now, very importantly, it will finish over there because you started over here and you finish over there on top. You've started over here and you finish over there. So that's going to be B and that's going to be A again. Now, we're going to take the red color. Uh, let's do the red color. And I'm going to take my red down. There's my red. There's my red. Red. Red is going to be in the middle, coinciding with the blue. 
and in red and then red here again and the last red is going to be here okay so those are all my red lines let me plot it with red so I'm going to go here on red now with the inside so here there and there right and you will find that I can actually take my pencil and do the same as I did there right so now we go there only on my red points and one up one up one up one up okay then I plot my red is going to be like that and I go with my red again only on the red points right here there and there you will see it links up with that if it doesn't you know that you've made a mistake you must go back see it links up here um, it links up there that's very important and then you plot again here there and there it ends then you're going to just draw this line till there as well so you started here at the bottom you're going to end there now let's do the top one top one you're going to go there you're going to go here, you're going to go there. Can you see it's in line? So you're going to draw that there. And then you're going to go here, there, there. Okay, it's becoming very confusing now, but you have to keep track of your lines. And then you're going to go here, there, and there. You can see it links up there. Right, you just have to keep track of what you're doing. Only on the red. There I've put mine in. And then I'm going to go here, there, and there. It links up there again. And there I'm going to finish that. And then lastly, here, there, and it ends right there to finish up that part over there. Right. So you can see now how my lines go. Now, if you are going to complete it now, very importantly, right, this is the shaft. In this section here is the shaft. So... You have to put in that shaft first, right? I'm going to put in that shaft first. So this is my shaft area in between the red. I'm going to make it nice and dark so that you can see there. And I'm going to do the top as well. That's my shaft area. The right? Everything is going to go around the shaft. There. Okay. And then I would suggest you put in the outside parts of my spline there and this part over here right put that in first now <clears throat> this turns that way so you are going to draw dark this line here can you see there that line till there and this line is going to be connected till there because that's in front right so there, then you will see it's going to go back and it's going to stop here right so we're going to come back to that. So you will also see that this line is going to go till there, dark, and that's going to go behind. Now you won't be able to see this. This line, as you have that line, will connect with this point over here. So you've got to do that first. And then that point is going to connect to that point over there first. All right, there we go. So you can see it's taking shape. So that goes behind, that goes behind there, right? And then it comes out this side here, it comes out there. You'll see, it comes out there, and this comes out there. So you're going to see that visible part there. And then here, here as it stops there, you're going to have that disappearing behind there and this one is going to disappear just there All right so that's going to disappear so now if you take this and you connect that to that there you will see how it disappears right around it and you can do the same thing on this side here that line is going to connect with that point disappearing there right and you're going to take the little one over there and then you go to the other side. That now is going to go right down like that there. This is 
exactly how you're going to draw it in the various steps there and that is just going to come down onto that part over there all right and voila you won't be able to see that you won't be able to see that goes behind it goes like that and it turns and that's how you finish off your drawing which is your single start square thread okay i hope you're going to do that one um, as i've done it uh, the, in the various steps uh, in order to, for it to unfold into this beautiful drawing that you see there.